Hi folks, Harry here, and today I've got a really, really weird video for you. So today I went out, shocker, and I bought a load of books. That is the only thing I go out for, just book shopping. I only got one novel, I got Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, which I'm really, really wanting to read. But these are what I'm going to be focusing on today, or rather however long it takes me to get through these. So all of these are either novellas, short stories, or poetry collections that have been put into these really really cute little editions that cost about two euros each so they're a steal and basically when I went to the bookshop today my only objective was to pick out the ones that either I was interested in the author or the title of the book sounded absolutely bloody ridiculous or something to do with the macabre because I really enjoy that sort of thing. So I'm just going to be chipping away at these and after I read each one I will update you give you my thoughts. Hello there so it's about half an hour later and I have started with Death the Barber by Willie William Carlos Williams. It's a poetry collection and I read it and it's just severely underwhelming. To me what stood out the most is his descriptions of nature, sometimes the macabre and just everyday sights, but he describes it with such perfect words. It's like he chose the best words to describe what he's describing, but unfortunately the things that he's describing just aren't that interesting. <laughs> This felt like the kind of poetry that someone would write for themselves, just as a form of therapy, but not something that can be read and enjoyed by a mass audience. So I rated this two stars. It's all right. There were some in here that I really, really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the title one, Death the Barber. I liked death. I liked... I liked view of a lake. I liked the yachts. These, these was probably my favorite. The last words of my English grandmother. <laughs> that one was... Nice. Oh, and Young Sycamore. Those are my favourites, but yeah, nothing too great to start off. We are another book down. I just read The Skeleton's Holiday by Leonora Carrington, and I rated this five stars. This was absolutely fantastic. So this was a collection of short stories that was first all like, published together in I think 1988, although some of them I think were written in like the 30s. And they're so bizarre and so wacky. And there's themes of the macabre in kind of all of the stories, but it's either like subtly woven into the text or very much so at the forefront and no in between. So I did a little bit of research and apparently this book was inspired by the French theatre movement, Grand Grignot, Grand Gr 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 Grand Guignol, and Grand Guignol was basically described as dramatic entertainment featuring the gruesome, and that is exactly how I would describe this collection of short stories. It is dark humour with incredibly gruesome aspects, and I absolutely loved it. So there were, One, two, three, four, five, six. There were seven short stories in here, all very short considering the length of this book. White Rabbits was very good. White Rabbits was like a, a haunted house kind of thing that I really, really enjoyed. The Skeleton's Holiday was fantastic. I absolutely loved that one. There were just some really, really good short stories in here. I rated it five stars. It's a fantastic collection. All right, the lighting is horrible and the setup is horrible, but I'm just here to say I read I Have More Souls Than One and I did not enjoy it one bit. I gave it one star. I know like Pessoa is meant to be the best Portuguese poet ever, but his writing just didn't really vibe with me. It, I just wasn't a fan, but I am not qualified to criticize the work of Pessoa because I am not a poet. So I know this is like a bloody holy item to some people, but for me, it just, it just didn't. Blech. I just didn't really like it. All right, so it is the next day and I've already finished my first one of these. Um, I just read Dark Days by James Baldwin and I rated this five stars. So this was a collection of three essays written by James Baldwin, who was a gay black man in America. And all three of them are basically just commentaries on racism in America. This is such an important book because James Baldwin really, really knows what he's talking about. He's faced discrimination, he's faced racism, he's faced homophobia and he's just put all of it into this book. It is heartbreaking, but it's so beautiful just the way that he gets it down on the page. And the last essay, The White Man's Guilt, he was really preachy, but in a very, very good way. I know preachy is often used to describe something quite annoying, but preachy in the best way possible. The last essay was fantastic. My favorite one was the title one, the first one, Dark Days. And the thing that stands out to me is he was talking about how a child once asked him, why does the white man hate the black 
black man. And it really made him think about how children are naturally born just thinking that people are people and then institutionalized racism trains them to think in different ways. And that really, really stood out to me. I thought that's really, really important to recognize. So yeah, I gave this five stars. Hello, so it's two days later, sorry about that, uh, but I've just read The Dialogue of Two Snails by Federico García Lorca, and I rated it one star. I, <laughs> I just really didn't like it. The writing style was very good, but it was so incohesive that I couldn't enjoy the writing style. Some of it was formatted like a play, some of it was format bleh, formatted like poetry, some of it was formatted like a short story, sprinkled in with a few illustrations, it was just so messy and I have no idea what it was trying to achieve. I always rate books based on what it was trying to achieve, but because I have no idea what this book was meant to be, I have no way of rating it highly. So yeah, I gave it one star. It was not an enjoyable reading experience. Hello, so again, it's been two days, so sorry about that. But I have just read The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, this is a collection of three stories, including The Telltale Heart, which I think is the most popular, The Fall of the House of Usher, and one other that I can't remember the name of, The Cask of Amontillado. <laughs> yeah, those are the three stories that are in here. I rated it four stars because the first story in this, The Telltale Heart, was like seven stars. I loved it so much. And then the second two stories, like, kind of fell a little bit flat. Can I say that about Edgar Allan Poe? I feel like that's kind of blasphemous, but yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's the master of the macabre. He really bloody knows what he's doing. All right, so it's been about three days. Sorry, I've had exams, stressful times, but I have just read A Confession by Leo Tolstoy. This is the longest book that I have read during this weird classics challenge. And something I did not realise before going into this is that this is actually non-fiction. And this book was basically 100 pages of Leo Tolstoy having an existential crisis. <laughs> That's basically the entire book. But it touches on themes like religion, depression, suicidal thoughts and war. But the way that it's done is just absolutely fantastic. I need to stop saying absolutely fantastic. I say the phrase absolutely fantastic every five seconds on this channel. The themes discussed in this book are really, really thought provoking and it's so well done. And it's translated from Russian by Jane Kentish and the language in this translation specifically is very, very accessible. So I rated this book about four stars and if you want some hard hitting themes coming your way, then... Okay, so it's actually very early in the morning, so I'm in my school uniform, but I've just finished The Haunted Boy by Carson McCullers. And I rated this four stars because the first story in it, The Haunted Boy, was very, very good. And then the other two stories just weren't that great. I have to go to school, so I'm going to make this very brief. But general thoughts, Carson McCullers is a fantastic writer, was a fantastic writer, rest in peace. And it's just written really, really well. So I did enjoy it for the most part. Okay, guys, so I have just finished The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier. I absolutely love Daphne du Maurier's writing style. It is absolutely remarkable. So obviously I love this, but I ended up giving it three stars because it delves into really, really deep themes, but it's so short that you don't have any time to delve deeply into them. And the kind of themes that they are, it's kind of necessary to delve deeply into them. So unfortunately this did fall a little bit flat, but I absolutely loved the writing style. And there's only one more book for me to read for this challenge. I finished the last one. I finished the three Japanese short stories. And unfortunately, that's all they were. Three Japanese short stories. They didn't say they were good short stories. They just said they were short stories. It feels like they were just pulled out of a hat by three random authors and just thought, these are fine, and then chuck them in the collection. But really, not a single story in this collection was good. No, one star, sorry. Nothing happened in any of them. It just felt like someone was writing and then the story ended, so. Okay guys, so it's been about two weeks, but I finally finished the 10 short weird classics that I bought. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tier rank these. So at the bottom, we're gonna have Wouldn't Touch It With A Barge Pole. Then we're gonna have It Was Okay. Then we're gonna have Great. And then we're gonna have God Tier. Okay, so in Wouldn't Touch It With A Barge Pole, we've got three Japanese short stories. Terrible. I Have More Souls Than One by Pessoa and The Dialogue of Two Snails by Federico García Lorca. 
Those were the only ones that I would refuse to ever read again. They were terrible. Then in It Was Okay, I've only got two here. I've got The Haunted Boy by Carson McCullers, only because I only liked one of them and the other two weren't that great. And also The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier, even though I absolutely loved the writing, it just didn't have enough length to dive into it as much as I would like it to. And then in the great category, I've actually got Death the Barber. Since I read Death the Barber, I've actually thought about it and I now like it a lot more. I've also got Dark Days by James Baldwin and A Confession by Leo Tolstoy. And then by far my two favourites in God tier were The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe and then my favourite by far the Skeleton's Holiday by Leonora Carrington. So would I recommend getting classics like these that you've never heard of and just diving into them completely clueless? Yes, absolutely. I think it's a really, really good idea because you never know, you can find some new favorites and I certainly have. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of different video on my channel. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more bookish content from me. All of my social media links are in the description below and I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye. <laughs>